The chief of the Sinaloa drug cartel, Ismail Almeo Zambada Garcia, was arrested in July this year in El Paso, Texas, along with fellow drug lord Joaquin Guzman Lopez. Lopez is the son of the infamous cartel kingpin Al Chapo, who is currently serving a maximum security prison in Colorado. Garcia's lawyer claims that Almayo had been kidnapped from Mexico by Lopez and six men in military uniforms who flew him to the United States on a private plane against his will. The US ambassador to Mexico has also acknowledged his arrest was not a willing surrender. The drama behind this handover, orchestrated by Almayo's former partner's son, points to factional disputes within the cartel. So who is Almayo and why is he wanted by US authorities? Ismail Almeo Zimbarda Garcia is one of the most notorious and influential drug lords in the organized crime scene in Mexico. He is one of the last leaders from the older generation who pioneered the cartels which have influenced today. After the Guadalajara cartel disintegrated in 1989, Garcia parted with Joaquin Al Chapo Guzman to create the Sinaloa cartel from its remnants. Both his famous partner and Almayo have been on the authorities' radars for years. He was included in the list of the most wanted drug lords in Mexico. Until his recent arrest in July, he had evaded police custody for 35 years. The Sinaloa cartel is based in Culiacán in the Sinaloa state of Mexico. The cartel rose to prominence after the decline of the Colombian drug cartels and the rise of the use of Mexican trade routes. It gained territory from the cartels within Mexico, helping strengthen its position as one of the leading global drug syndicates. By the turn of the century, the cartel ran operations in more than 50 countries around the world. It largely dealt in heroin, cocaine, marijuana, and methamphetamines. The influence of the cartel stretched over nearly every state in the United States, according to a DEA report released in 2015. The Sinaloa cartel has remained centered largely on drugs, choosing not to expand its operation into other domains, unlike other cartels which have entered into prostitution and gambling. Its annual revenue has been estimated to be a whopping 3 billion US dollars. The Sinaloa syndicate remains powerful because of its fentanyl trade. Fentanyl is a powerful synthetic opioid that is similar to morphine but 50 to 100 times stronger. It has helped launch an opioid epidemic in the US which has placed the Sinaloa syndicate squarely in conflict with American anti-narcotics agencies. Law enforcement officials have drawn comparisons with the crack epidemic of the 1980s because of its scale. Overdose from the drug has become a public health crisis in America, with upwards of 100,000 deaths in 2023. Despite arrests of key members of the syndicate, the fentanyl trade continues to increase. Monthly hauls at the US-Mexico border reveal thousands of kilograms of illicitly smuggled fentanyl seized by the authorities. The United States Justice Department has promised to hold all guilty parties accountable in its quest to squash the deadliest threat faced by the country. Fentanyl, which is simple to make and transport, has produced billions of dollars in revenue for Almayo and Al Chapo's sons. The focus on fentanyl trading was spearheaded by Al Chapo's sons, Los Chapitos, as they sought to diversify their father's empire. Experts assert that it is difficult to completely stop fentanyl smuggling. It is just too lucrative for the cartels and too entwined with Mexico's current drug landscape. The US law enforcement wants to damage the cartels that are manufacturing fentanyl, lessen their power and, if possible, take down their leadership. Even though Almayo Zambada was 76 years old, ill and betrayed by his own cartel, his capture is a critical step towards this goal.